everybody, it's Tyler here checking out the Texas Cup team number 231 high voltage from Pasadena. And to help me speak about this robot, it's going to be David, Sophia, and Quan. And this is a brand new 2021 robot we're going to be focusing on here. Of course, going through the power cell journey. Uh, really neat shooter, uh, climber, autonomous, and more all here coming up on Behind the Bumpers. Giving you a voice. Making it loud our own way. Welcome, Welcome to, to the fun. fun. We would like to thank our friends at Stryker for supporting fun so we can continue to make content for you. Stryker makes some of the most revolutionary medical equipment and is a big supporter of FIRST and its participants. If you are looking for an internship or career that supports you being in FIRST, check out careers.stryker.com to learn more. If your team or organization is hosting an off-season event, did you know you can stream it right here on FIRST Updates Now for free? Events that stream on First Updates Now receive an additional 25 to 100% additional viewership because we help you promote your event on a large platform. If you're interested, reach out to us on any of our social platforms, on Discord, or send us an email at admin at firstupdatesnow.com. Let's get your off-season event streaming on First Updates Now. Hurry, dates are booking fast, and we take first come, first serve for all our events. So David, let's start off on this robot here, talking about your intake, lots of compliant wheels I see mm -hmm. uh, on this. So tell me a little bit more about that, and of course your hopper as well too. Well, first we started off with the design process. Uh, these plexiglass uh, three eighths uh, were cut out by a CNC router, and uh, things we wanted to keep things simple, so we just allowed it to roll up onto the back wall back here with a uh, mesh taped onto it. And so we would uh, do the pulleys from the top all the way down here to the bottom, coming from inside of the robot is where we put our motors in order to save up some more space. And uh, we wanted to have at least half an inch of compression in order, to, in order for the ball to flow freely into the robot. And so right now, uh, we'll go ahead and demonstrate that for sure. you. So one of the things I want to ask you, as we saw those power cells come in, they kind of bump the limelight each time. Have you ever had power cells kind of fly out if you're going too fast or anything? Um, yeah, that has been a problem for uh, a little bit, but we try to keep it under control. Sure. Going slow, make sure uh, that we don't spin too fast uh, whenever going around corners. But for the most part, uh, we try to keep these as high as we can in yeah. order for the balls to stay inside. That makes sense. So uh, let's keep talking about uh, into your hopper here and, and some of this prep work before it gets into the shooter. Yeah, so whenever the hopper, uh, whenever the balls enter the hopper, uh, we have it uh, kneeled down into the these two Omni wheels right here. And so what our, um, yeah, sorry. So what our operator does is um, presses B. So what B does is go ahead and press B. Spins that first ball into there so that we can go ahead and get ready in order to shoot, uh, you know, have that fast uh, shooting time. And then uh, whenever we're ready, uh, he would go full speed. These balls would bounce around, but they would uh, fall down into the Omni wheels and they would be caught in between. Well, that's a good segue to go uh, into the shooter next, which I think Sophia's gonna be talking uh, more about that. So tell me a little bit more about it. Love to hear about, uh, you know, what you're using for a flywheel and uh, just in general, how'd you come up with this type of hood for it as well? Uh, so for our hood, we decided, uh, it was designed by our catter, David, and then he actually did it on the CNC router. And then for our flywheel, we decided to do a momentum wheel and then two wheels for it to grab on the ball as it goes up. And we decided to go, we did more multiple holes in order to, uh, we could change it if we decided to go more wider or add more compression. If you don't mind, can we actually, can we see it spin up without shooting? I know we don't want to shoot in the pits here, but I'd love to see how quickly it gets up to speed. Is that possible? There's a, we have two speed options. I have a slow speed and then have a max speed. And is that, that's entirely manually controlled or how does that work? Uh, yes, it's manually controlled by me. All right, that makes sense on here. Uh, so, Quan, let's finish up with you and, and talk a little bit more about the uh, autonomous on it. And I, I know uh, we'll catch the climber back afterwards as well, yes, too. Sir. So, uh, tell me a little bit more about the autonomous that goes into the bot and some of the sensors. Uh huh. Okay, so uh, this year we're able to figure out how to program the alarm light for the robot. So, we're using it for the to auto correct and also line up with the, with the target. So during our autonomous, we're going to tell it to turn and then set up a target to zero, zero, and then they can start spinning our ball, shooting it. So we have this year, we have two autonomous. One is for the trench, to, uh, and one is for mid at, at the center of, of the field. And both our time, we're able to, to do it in 15 seconds, shooting six ball. So that's sure. a total of yeah, 24 points. 
So yeah. So, and then uh, who's going to be talking about the climber? Are you going to cover that as well, or David? All right. Uh, so tell me a little bit more about your climber design, uh, how that works. It looks like some 3D printing you have on here as well. Yeah, so initially uh, for our you know 2021 robot, we wanted to climb up with these pneumatics only. But we came into a problem that the pneumatics weren't strong enough in order to pull the whole robot sure. itself. And so instead, we just use this to lift up and get that hook up there. Then we detach. And then uh, we would have these pulleys down here, go ahead and uh, you know wrench it up. And then we would have a, a wrench in here to lock it in place. Can we see the pneumatics deploy? Yeah, uh, go just ahead so and we can check uh, that out. Because it it's a long stroke on these. Yeah. So that would go up right here. And that would come up. And then once these hook on, I'll go ahead and put my hand right here. Go ahead, go down. Once these hook on, the tape breaks, and then the pneumatic uh, detaches from the Yeah, uh, very cool. Well, high voltage once again, uh, 231 coming out of uh, Pasadena. Thanks for taking the time to speak with so us much. about your robot. Yeah, appreciate it. And good luck here at the Texas Cup, all right? All Thanks right. a lot, guys. We would like to thank our friends at Stryker for supporting this video. Stryker is looking for current and future FIRST alumni to join their internship program and FIRST mentors who are looking for a great career with a company who actually supports their FIRST journey. Go to careers.stryker.com to learn more. You can also directly support Fun by joining Fun Nation. Click the Join button and just for a few bucks a month, you'll unlock special perks and directly support us so we can keep making great content. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell to stay up to date on our new videos. Keep the conversation going and provide your input to our content. Watch our live shows at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Join our Discord at discord.gg forward slash first updates now. And check out Fun FTC on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And First Updates Now on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter.